Let's go. I wasn't on planning on running at first. I was like, nah, I'm just not gonna run. I was just gonna save it for prom. I was just gonna be like, you know what, I'm gonna do prom because I wasn't really planning on going to homecoming like that. I was like, uh, I don't know. Chris is a people's man. He can talk to anybody. I talk to a lot of people, so I feel like a lot of people like know who I am, basically. And it's like weird because I've known Nick since like just middle. Isaac, I've known bro. Nick since elementary school. Like we go way back. But I really voted for Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> Had to. And I was like, wow, Nick, we go back since like third grade. And I'm like, you're going to vote for the QB. And I was like, man, this is so high school typical for the QB1 to win. I was like, man, let a D lineman win, man. Let a big boy win. And Isaac's the new guy, so everybody likes him. He's just the ladies' man. Chris wins. Is that a win for our big guys? Is that a win for D Lyman? What, 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 what is that? That's a win for all the gordito people, all the chubby boys. <laughs> You know, I gotta have, you know, we gotta just show like we got this, you know, like we can we can be with a pretty girl and win. <laughs> yeah. I, I respect it though. I yeah. respect it. I respect it. <laughs> I'm not gonna even hate on that. Get off of him! That's a grown man! That's a grown man! What's not to love about football? That's really how I feel. It's just, I don't know, watching it and playing it to me are two completely different things. Make something happen, Reese. I just want to play football. It's, I love football. I'm gonna say the symptom, and on a scale of zero, being you don't have that to six, you're just gonna rate each symptom for me, okay? And then based on how these are looking, we'll load up the impact and we'll get you a on, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, so let's start with headache. They ran a draw up the middle and it kind of just parted like the Red Sea. And so I saw my opening, I took it, me and the running back met and it was just helmet to helmet. I had a feeling something was wrong because when I stood up, my head was, it really hurt. And I was like, okay, this, this is something new. Like I've never had this happen before. He brought the hit to the young man that he hit, but he did sustain what we believe is a concussion. It's like a really, really bad headache. And the more sound and light that you see just multiplies it. Is that too loud for you in there? Them okay. just being regular and being loud, it just hurt my head. So I went to sit in the hallway and there was still a light in the hallway. So I had my mask and I covered it in my face and I was just sitting down with my head down. Sit yeah, sit outside. Let's just go. So Friday night was the worst of it. I went home, I just, I couldn't, I felt like I couldn't function properly. Like my movements were a lot slower. So I tried to shower, I had to get a chair cause I couldn't stand, my balance was bad. I just went to sleep. In the preseason, we have them take what's called an impact test, which is their baseline. And now he'll take the pre, uh, he'll go back and take that same impact test again and see what his reactions are like. Good. Any balance problems? Four. Four. Uh, dizziness? Five. Five. Lightheadedness? Five. Fatigue? They do have to go through a six day return to play um, protocol or a rehab. So we take this the most serious out of everything. Getting the assessment of a concussion is easy, but getting them back to play is the hardest thing. I was really upset when he came home. They're not gonna let me play, Mom. And I'm like, okay, so you know, it's part of the protocol, but you know, they don't see it that way. I missed game three because of my concussion that I received in game two. I've just been cleared this week. So he got to go full pads and everything and make some contact and kind of hit his friends again. So he was very excited. And I will be playing homecoming game.
go. Yes. Run it. Oh my God. No, we got it. Billy, did we not have that conversation with him? Ah! Go, 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 baby. Go, baby. Go, baby. Go, baby. Go, run. No flags. Go on. Run. Great job by Chris. Great job by Chris Nelson. Okay, because we make a miss, but that's fine. We got to settle ourselves. That's fine. Fellas, we scored, so I can't complain too much. All right now, I'm just being nitpicky. Get it. Touchdown. Touchdown. Two. This time from well yeah. Hey, here we go, coach. He's got to put the damn ball on his body. He's got to stop making him make a play. It's not working. <laughs> Biggest play of the game is right now. We're going doubles, take a knee, doubles, take a knee, and then get your asses over here, okay? Sure. Hey, secure the football. Let's get out of the half. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I've been waiting. I've been waiting to get it. Ever since I heard we was gonna get it, I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I do. I've been waiting to get in it, bro. It's on the way. Yeah. 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 Congratulations, y'all. Now it's time to go back to work. Thank you. This is not the same as smoke and bubbles. Watch this. Thank you much. You do the same. Well, our day starts at 4.50. We get up and get rolling and make a stop at Duncan for me and make a stop at Quick Trip for him on the way to Tolleson. Did I ever think he was going to get into football coaching? I didn't know. You're talking to the wrong Welbrock. I am not that, I'm not that Welbrock, sadly. He just kind of fell into the business at this point. Oh, this is, this is what can't happen. Okay, fellas, you have to get out. I have to go to practice. Okay, you ha everybody has to get whatever they're doing and stand outside, go outside and see Carver. I gotta go. I cannot be, it is 3.35 and we pr start practice at 3.30. I've had on the job training since I was probably 10 years old. I wanted to be a part of it all when I was a kid. You know, I wanted to, I wanted to go to the Saturday morning practices. I wanted to go to the weight room. I wanted to uh, be in the coach's office after games and be with the players. I wanted to do all that. So as many times as I could stay afterwards, you know, I, I did. 
You guys, it's not a switch. We can turn it on and off. You guys aren't there yet. You'll get there, but you're not there yet. Does that make sense? We can't turn it off. Can't, we can't turn it on and off. We got to be on all the time. Because when we do our job, we look like we, we're a really good football team. He went straight from playing in the, at the high school level straight into the coaching business. Body language can't change. Does that make sense? Because everybody's watching you five and expecting you five to be the difference. Your body language can't change. Okay, because we are inches away from being as what we have the ball back. My ability to kind of stay calm in certain situations can help him and his ability to get people going helps me. Stop thinking so much. Stop worrying about everything else. We're in team, fly to the football. Let's go. Everybody thinks he's some angry and crazy dude. It comes from an area and you notice it by the way he treats you when he's not mad. It comes from an area where he knows you're better than that. Nick, that, Nick that's not your guy. That's Arturo's guy. Right, he knows you're, you, that mistake you made, that you're not that, right? You're not your mistake. Hey, get me out of your head. I love you to death. Get me out of your head. I'm going to push you to be the best freaking receiver in this state. Get me out of your head. And you realize that the only reason he does get mad at you is because of, you know, he wants you to get better. And then you get to the point, it's kind of funny, you get to the point when he, if he doesn't yell at you, you start to get worried because that you get worried that he doesn't care about you anymore. It's kind of funny. This morning during zero hour, I never raised my voice and it scared them more than anything else. They came in to check on me during sixth hour. They're like, Coach, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, why? They're like, we're more scared of you when you're, when you're quiet. Yeah. He thinks a lot more and he's very, much more of a deep thinker than I ever am. I'm much more of a do it right now and I'll figure it out if it was right or wrong later on. And, uh, you know, when it comes to football, get moving and get moving and get moving and he's going to think it through and, and analyze it a little bit more than I ever, I ever have. Yeah, and he runs underneath you guys. That's why it's so important to get the right people because he needs you guys. People say we walk like each other. 100% they say we walk like each other. And there's been times where I've been in a practice where he wasn't even there and they're like, dang, you walk like your dad. I can't tell you that I didn't sit in my room when I was a kid and, you know, practice that walk or anything like that. You know, I just subconscious, I guess, started walking. You got one minute. Go ahead and start making your way. You got one minute. Go ahead and start making your way. Start making your way. Couldn't be more proud that he's following in my footsteps. I can walk off into the sunset and maybe he can take over for me or something like that. And, and uh, I would be just just fine with that. So. We talked about it. You know what you need, needs to get done right now. You know what needs to get done. Touchdown. Touchdown. Can't die. Just because he rolls out, don't die. We got to follow him around. That makes sense? Even when he runs, we got to get to him. We have to protect seven. That's our job. Good drive. Hey, stay on your tracks. Good drive. Stay on your tracks. Empty, 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 empty. Empty. So what we gotta do here is we gotta get somebody outside here. You are not keeping your feet moving all the way through the end zone, and that's why you keep rolling your ankle. You need to run all the way through to the Lobo, okay? Hey, hey, I'm smiling like a mother underneath here. I just want to get that damn thing healthy. Nice run until you got to the end zone, then the feet stop. Love you. Same formation. Natural rub, rock him. Ah, oh, he gotta make the play. That old boy's gotta make the play. 
Go get it. Great ball, seven. Who was that on? Pass interference for the touchdown. 15 yard penalty was on the kickoff. No, it's not on the kickoff. That they can accept it or not accept it. Oh my God. Go, Mike. All right, Mike, get down. We knew that we could get on these guys early, and we did. I believe right now the only team that can beat us is us the rest of the way. It's been 20 years since the region title has been won here. Hey, he acted like he was an old man today. You know what he said? He says, I feel like an old man. You know what I told him? It's because of his satchel. I'll take it that it's a satchel. I'll stay with you on the satchel, but when you start telling yourself it's all. Hey, hey. Second most, he told me I was a fanny pack guy. That's not going to get him the ball on Friday night. I'm the wrong guy for him to pop off that I'm a fanny pack. I, I, I just, <laughs> I'm I felt like you would. Lizzie, Lizzie, Lizzie. Do I look like a fanny pack guy? Like the one that's right here and the one that's really Get your ass out of here.